Halftime of the DeSales men's basketball game. Bulldogs taking on Misericordia today and with a 33-21 lead. Strong close to the first half for DeSales, up by 12. And we got a special guest at DeSales University, basketball alumnus Ryan Callahan joins us wearing the Yankee cap, hey. wearing the DeSales sweatshirt. That's Both right. those things factor into what we're going to talk about here. First of all, let's start. Let's talk about your time at DeSales. You were just saying best years of your life. Yeah, best four years of my life, you know. You come in not knowing what to expect. I knew they had a good basketball program. That was important to me. I knew they had a good TV film program, which is what I majored in. And uh, from there, yeah, you just you meet your best friends. Um, you play basketball. You play a great game. You play for a great coach. And, uh, yeah, we won a lot of games, had a lot of fun, and it was, it was awesome. And you won a conference title in basketball, played baseball too, right? Yeah, I actually I walked on uh, the baseball team my junior year and uh, th threw one year for Coach Nyman there, and that was – that was fun, too, being a part of that program and just kind of seeing, you know, getting the best of both worlds there with baseball and basketball. T tell us about your best basketball moments here. Best basketball moment, I'd have to say my freshman year when we won the conference title. Um, you know, I, I came from a high school program that didn't have a ton of success, so I wanted to come somewhere where I could win. Um, and sure enough, our first year we did that. We went to uh, the NCAA tournament and upset Randolph-Macon on their home floor uh, in the opening round. So it was uh, – it was probably the most memorable experiences I had and then one of the best teams I ever played with. What was it like to play for Coach Koval? Coach Koval is just the ultimate professional. Um, you know, when he's playing and, and off the court, he's someone who I, uh, I really value my relationship with him. You know, I'm still in touch with him um, from time to time. Uh, it's awesome coming back here. He's always very welcoming and, and happy to see me as I am with him. <laughs> um, so, so we get to chop it up and catch up a little bit, and it's, uh, it's fun. What was your role on the basketball team? Uh, so it was, it was cool. I, I got to have a bunch of different roles year in and year out. So, you know, freshman year, I was just a high energy guy off the bench, um, you know, playing maybe eight to 10 minutes a game, just coming in, trying to do my job and fit in with, with the senior uh, group that we had. Um, sophomore year, stepped into a bit of a bigger role, started a few games, I think, you know, playing 16 to 20 minutes a game. Um, same thing, high energy, someone that was going to run the floor try to catch some alley-oops and throw some dunks down and uh and then junior and senior years starting for us and uh you know trying to be a leader for these young guys too because we're always bringing in new players new talented players and just helping them get adjusted to the program and college and everything like that your post to sales path is pretty cool pretty yeah. interesting uh yeah. tell us about where you've been and the job that you've had that led to this yeah so first job out of college uh, was working for the NBA um, in Secaucus, New Jersey, working in their, their media headquarters. Um, so I had a few different jobs that eventually led me to being a video editor um, for all our social media platforms. So I would cut highlights for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, so I got to work on some really cool projects that were able to reach a lot of fans you know, around the world. Um, so that was pretty neat. And then just recently, a couple months ago, this job kind of fell on my lap. I uh, saw an opportunity with the Yankees to work for their social media. Um, so I, I gave it a shot, said, why not? I've been a diehard <laughs> fan my whole life, so that would be pretty cool. And, and sure enough, about seven weeks ago, I started with them. Um, you know, I go to Yankee Stadium every day. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a bad place to call home. Um, so, so, yeah, obviously it's off season. Uh, so when baseball gets started, it'll, it'll be a little more exciting, but a lot of cool stuff that we've been doing lately too. So. Give us an example of what you do, something like Gary Cole signs, what happens? Yeah, so biggest, biggest pitcher signing maybe in baseball history. So we, ha we brought him into the stadium. He had his press conference, and I'm following him around, taking videos, taking pictures, and just posting that on our social media platforms for – all our Yankee fans to see. As you're doing that, are you like, oh, my God, I can't believe this? Yeah, I mean, I do that every day. I walk in, <laughs> and I look up, and I say, oh, man, this is Yankee Stadium. Um, so it still doesn't feel real to me, um, and I don't know if it ever will. It's uh, it's really cool, and that's all, that's all I can say to people. They like ask me how it is, and I'm just like, it is unbelievable. What was the Jeter announcement like? Was there stuff for that? Yeah, so we, we prepped a lot. We did a lot to prep graphics for that. So that was kind of my first big project was um, getting together graphics. How are we going to announce this, this larger-than-life figure in Yankees history? How are we going to you know, showcase his career and show just how special he was to this team and to the city? Um, so we had to put together this IG carousel for Instagram where we just kind of tell the story of his whole career, all his best moments. Um, and then we've got a lot more. We've got a couple more things in the works, too, for when he goes in in July. Yeah, it'll, it'll certainly keep you busy, as will the uh, upcoming uh, baseball season. That's Ryan right. Callahan, our guest.
Uh, it's been a, a heck of a ride, as you said. Do you have any uh, advice to the DeSales men's basketball advice, team? Advice, I would just say, um, you know, as we're coming down to crunch time here in, uh, you know, the last half of conference play, uh, just, just be yourself, um, thrive in your role, know your role on the team, and do everything you can to help the team win. Um, you know, whether that's coming into practice every day and busting your butt or cheering on the bench, you know, I've been there, we've all been there, and I can tell you that every one of those roles is, is extremely important to the team's success. You know, whether you're playing or you're getting a few minutes or no minutes at all, everybody is certainly valued, and you should be doing everything you can to help them win. Last question. The DeSales experience overall, how would you sum it up? 10 out of 10. It was the best four years of my life. It was it was awesome. Like I said, I met my best friends forever here. Um, you know, I'll be in touch with them for the rest of my life. We still talk every day, um, you know, from, from being in the dorms to living out on our own. You know, it was uh, – it was a lot of fun, and, and and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life, you know, hanging out with them. All right, Ryan Callahan, thanks for joining us. Bulldogs lead by 12 at the break. We will take a break, and when we come back, we'll have the second half. Thanks for watching on the DeSales Sports Network.